Okay, so this morning I woke up and I knew what day it is today. It's the day after Met Gala. So here in Europe, whenever like the thing is going on in the US, it means it's going on during night time when I'm sleeping. And because it's also Monday evening, I was sleeping. Like I have my work to do, right? But I knew, I knew, I knew that today I'm gonna film Mad Gala. I scheduled it last time when I filmed Fashion Journalist Reacts 2, episode number one. I was thinking what is gonna be my episode number two and I knew that it has to be Met Gala. There are a lot of cool events that are happening where I can like say what I think about different people's outfits and stuff but I think that this one in particular is the most important one because this is the celebration of fashion. This is the Met Gala. This is where cool people come where not everybody can come and that makes it so much better but then this morning I was checking out those looks that people who are there stylists probably have chosen for them and I was like I just wonder if those people even read the essay so this year Met Gala if you don't know it was all about the camp and if you're thinking about the camp like people going to the mountains and you know staying there for a few nights that's what Celine Dion thought she said that herself we go camping we're gonna be at the mat and everybody's gonna stay and sleep all night together uh, but then people around her told her what it was about so camp is this is it culture so basically if you take all extravagant fashion and you add drag queen fashion and you just add Lady Gaga there you basically get the idea of camp so this year uh, Met Gala was all about the camp and before I say those people that I love those people that I didn't really like um, I'm gonna say that I was really disappointed that Rihanna did show up this year and she is the queen of Met Gala like I don't care what you say she is the queen of Met Gala she always looks stunning and I was looking for her outfits but she didn't come she was playing with her Fenty Beauty makeup also Beyonce wasn't there well Beyonce I love her music and stuff but I think when it comes to fashion I prefer Riri uh, but I still love Beyonce she is the star she's the legend okay um, but she wasn't there either so we gotta work with what we have and I poured some wine into my glass because it's I think it's 9 yeah it's 9 40 p.m. the day after Met Gala uh, I came from work right now and you know I'm tired as hell but it also means that I'm gonna be in the mood to be sarcastic probably and I just wanna you know roast rich people's outfits or looks I should say with you guys so if you're here for that tea or for that wine let's begin ah oh, that's good that's good so if you're wondering why I'm looking down let me just tell you it's because I'm checking out those looks that we are gonna review so I have my friend over here so please forgive me for that, uh, but we should begin. <laughs> so first one is Lady Gaga. She was one of my favorite people at Met Gala. She looked amazing, but that re reveal party she threw at us, I was just like blown away. So first she shows up in this pink big ass dress and these big eyelashes and she looks incredible. And I, I would have said that's right that, that's good enough already but she didn't stop with that that wasn't it then she shows up in this black dress then again she reveals her third look and that's the pink dress and you know i think out of all of those three at that moment it was like the most simple one until she just stayed with us in her lingerie and extravagant heels and you know this is Lady Gaga that I loved back in the days and I was obsessed with, with Lady Gaga but then I grew up and you know my um, fashion choices changed my music changed 
you know, I still love Lady Gaga, but back then I was like obsessed with her. Today I'm like, I like her, she's cool, but this, this, I think she's back in my heart. I think she took that place back again, and I think she looks amazing. I think that like Cam is like Lady Gaga or Madonna, like in today's world, you know, that's them. So like Lady Gaga being Lady Gaga for Met Gala's camp theme, uh, why not? You know, why the hell not? Also, did I tell you that this year's Met Gala was kind of, I don't know, inspired by Susan Sontag's essay, Notes on Camp, uh, but Met Gala named it Camp Notes on Fashion. So it's all complicated, but basically the whole event is based on this essay written by Susan Sontag. So you can check it out and you know, it's, it's a lot to read, but if you're just interested, you should read it. So yes, Lady Gaga, yes. Another look I like the most uh, at Met Gala, and I'm talking from perspective of, you know, the theme that we have. So we need to work with what we have, right? Like if the theme of the event is this, we're gonna put the best dressed people in this category because they know what's up, you know? So uh, next one is Billy Porter. And if you didn't see, this is how he showed up, like all this Egyptian, old Egyptian kind of style. At first I thought this is a pharaoh look, right? Because it looks like that, but no, it actually was inspired by Elizabeth Taylor and Cleopatra. So that's it. That's basically it. It tells you everything. How is this not camp? It is camp. It is amazing. And if you watch my fashion journalist reacts to Oscars, uh, you know that I also liked his look there as well, so nothing changes. Next person that I loved is Cara Delevingne, and I think it honestly says it all, like she just went in. I think I've never seen her looking like this ever before, and that's why I love Mad Gala. It just puts you in this uncomfortable situation, well not you, but you know, those people that go there. <laughs> It puts them in this uncomfortable situation and they want to come and they're like, how am I going to dress up? And you know, I think that's the best thing about being rich and a celebrity. Why everyone wants to talk to me when I'm filming? Yeah, I really like it. I mean, I wouldn't wear it. Nobody would wear it, but that's great for that whole theme. And she's wearing this very funny and some... Um, full of life kind of outfit, what is that, like some bananas if you're hungry, you know, if you're like on the way to the event and you're like, let me eat some banana and you eat your banana, so I think that's that's really fun, that's really fun. Next, I really loved how Lupita Nyong'o looked in Versace and after watching us, I love her even more, she's an amazing actress and she knows what's up, she comes to the event where you want to see people looking funny but not funny you know like how funny can you be and but she's still slain like i love her makeup this is the only time you can see someone dressing up like this and be like yes girl you're slaying let's drink some more also like you know how there are mukbang shows why not to make like let's drink together party why not like i came from work I'm tired, but I know I need to create this content for my people, for my people out there, for you guys, for you to know what I think, because I know this is so important to you. Well, honestly, I just think if there is a cool event where I can make fun of people or I can praise people and make fun of some other people, why not to do it? And like, so what I'm tired after work, so what I didn't get enough sleep, like I, I can just drink this and I'll be fine, you know? So. Give me thumbs up just for that, just for, you know, for me being me and like doing it no matter what. I think I deserve it. In this video, you re really can see why people love me being tipsy, wasted, because I'm so funny when I'm like tipsy, wasted. Um, drunk Layla is my favorite Layla. That's what people always tell me. So. Now you know me better. Uh, okay, moving next to Celine Dion in Oscar de la Renta. And you know, I'm not a fan of Celine Dion. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I don't know. I, I think I'm just from a different generation. I listen to different kind of music. 
like people who watch me are from like older generations obviously not but still I you know I just I didn't grow up listening to her so I, I just knew who she was but I never was into her but here you know I can tell you she did it she's slaying look at this if this is not camp if this is not what we actually want to see on this mad gala then I don't know what we are even talking about look at all this madness she is the queen of Las Vegas so I guess that's pretty much what she's looking like all the time, no? I think like that's really cool and that's why like she's slaying. Next person I really loved at Met Gala is Jared Leto and his head <laughs> and another head, like two heads, you, you know. I think it's really cool and that's also Cam and that's also great and he always shows up in great outfits, looks, like he is doing it all and you know good for him and next is the queen herself Anna Wintour she is amazing and you know this is the most you can get from Anna when it comes to being camp right like she is she has amazing style and I would never expect her to be extra again you know so when I see this I'm like that's so Anna and that's so Cam, you know, and that's so cool. Like, that's why I love her and everybody loves her. How can you not love her? Like, she is the boss. Like, if you want to work in fashion industry, you probably were inspired by her in the first place. Like, who didn't want to become Anna Winter when she would want to grow up? When she would grow up. Whatever, you know, just I want to be Anna Winter. That's why we're here. Next best dress person is Janelle Monet and this girl is slaying she's so cool like I love listening to her when she was doing music more than I saw her in the film industry and now I see her here and I'm like whatever she does she's perfect and like this is something I would wear you know like it's so cool it's so stylish and it's not like too much it's like too much but not too much you know what I mean that's like the perfect too much kind of example and I want this dress like that's what we need like we need Janelle Monae doing whatever she's like she's the queen okay no matter what she does she is the queen next person I really really loved is Gemma Chang and I don't know who she is but I'm gonna check out who she is because this is incredible this is Asian beauty you know I'm like how biracial what you know i'm biracial right so i'm half asian so whenever i see a good asian representation i'm like yes queen yes like this is what we need um and i'm biracial so i'm not like fully in the team of asian people you know i think biracial people we are people of our own but still when i see beautiful asian representation i'm like yes so of course, Gemma Chang, thank you so much for this outfit. This is what we needed. Like I want your crown, like girl, you're slaying. Everything looks perfect and she's wearing Tom Ford, by the way. Next is Naomi Campbell and Valentino. She is a queen and you know, whatever she's wearing, she's always slaying. So of course she's my favorite. I just love her and you know, I'm biased like that. But she is really looking good. And she really followed the theme of the whole event unlike some people but we're gonna come to it when i'm gonna roast people like worst dressed people i don't know i feel like that's all that i want to tell you about best dressed people in my humble opinion and probably we can move to the worst dressed and i'm not saying that all the other people are worst dressed there were people that were yeah, but there were people that were like the hell is this you know so I'm gonna focus on those so Miley Cyrus how is this like fashion how is this camp I'm so sorry girl like this is so basic this is like any other music award kind of dress that she or any other singer would wear you know and I mean I just I'm gonna be honest with you guys I think when you're coming to such an important event and you can't understand what you're doing there like you know other people could be there and you're just like taking their place without understanding what you're wearing what you're doing like 
Why are you, why are you like this? Okay, next is Gigi Hadid in Michael Kors. And I know people love Hadid family, but I'm sorry, but this time, Bella, she was like, man, but like, Gigi, I was like, I mean, it's camp, but like, I don't like what she's wearing. You know, it's one of those examples when it is camp, it is following the theme of the event, but I just don't like what you're wearing, Gigi. I mean, this is definitely Elton John inspired and like nothing wrong about it, but like Gigi, with your kind of figure, like you could be wearing something so much better, so much better. And I know you probably love her and love whatever she's doing. I'm not a fan of this and I think she could do better. Uh, Bella, on the other hand, just went, you know, she's one of those ladies that showed up in the dress just because it's safer. Well, Gigi really risked a lot, but I just, I don't like it. I think when you're so beautiful like Gigi, like, you can't just come up looking like Elton John, because you're not Elton John, you're Gigi. This lady got a lot of jokes about her. She will become the meme for this week, for sure. And that's Katy Perry in Moschino, looking like a chandelier. What do I think about it? This is too much. This is like too much. Somebody asked her how is she gonna sit and she said, you don't sit at Met Gala. What are you talking about? Something like that. Something like that. So I just, I think, you know, if she would just wear that dress and maybe, I don't know, it just, it's so weird. Like, why is she looking like Disney character? Like, why? Uh, I don't know. She's just weird. I don't like this. Oh my god, I just saw Lily Collins in Jean Battista Valley. And she's looking amazing. And okay, we're gonna put her in the best dress category, even though I already closed that category, but she's going there for sure. She's looking amazing. Her hair is doing it, her outfit is doing it. I love her shoes. Oh my god, is that a tattoo on her ankle? Ooh, I didn't know she had a tattoo. That's cool. I really like her now even more. You know, I love people with tattoos. Did you know it? Because I, I, I just told you that. Okay, next is Emma Stone in Louis Vuitton. And this is Kim or this is probably 80s mom kind of outfit. You know, like those looks that moms would wear in the 80s, like to go to the party or disco party, you know, like... <laughs> Next look that I didn't like is Zendaya in Tommy Hilfiger and the reason why is because I don't know, I feel like she is being Cinderella but, you know, it's not like, why do people dress up like it's Disney party? It's camp, like why is camp Disney? Like, but then maybe it is, but then you ask yourself, what is camp, right? But I personally don't really think that's camp, but I don't know, you guys. I really, I think the dress is awful, nevertheless. Next is Kari, and I was like, I was kind of loving it, but then I was like, she kind of looks like a napkin, like big ass napkin. And you know, all these people around her, but she still looks like a napkin, and I just can't help it. And you know, at first I was like, that's interesting, that's cool. She, you know, she is not revealing her body parts as some people just went with that uh, but then you know it, she looks like nothing like why, why would you do that Cardi then there is Jennifer Lopez and I love her but I feel like she's one of those people who just went to the Met Gala event and were just wearing revealing outfit and that's it and that's something you see from them all the time anyways and there wasn't a lot of thought put, put into her outfit and I was just disappointed because this is something I see all the time from her and yes like she's looking amazing but you know when it's Met Gala like I have higher expectations and I'm being more judgmental than I usually am uh, so I'm so sorry but I think I'm not liking it I'm not saying it's like really bad but I think like you can like impress us, you know what I mean? Like we see you wearing something like this all the time anyways. But no, she decided to go this way and just put some piece on her head so it looks campy. But it doesn't really. It just looks like Jennifer Lopez with some 
thing on her head. Like, not campy at all. Oh my god, next is Ashley Graham. And you know, I just think she's such a good representation for plus size models. But this look, what is it? Like, it's not campy, it's really not fashionable, it's not stylish, it's not anything. It's just like, who likes this? Who, who put this on her? And like, you, like, Oh my god, what are these tights? Like, what? what is it? What, what is it even saying? So she's wearing Gucci, really cheap looking Gucci blazer and these tights. And that's the whole look. And girl thinks this is um, camp. We need to fire her stylist. That's what we need to do. Next is Alicia Vikander. You know, I like her as an actress, but I think this outfit is awful. What What is this whole combination? Like her shoes, her, um, you know, dress. Like, you're missing the point. Who are their stylists? What the hell is this? Oh my god. And she's Oscar winning actress. Did you know that? Oh my god. Like, who styles Oscar winning actress like this? Like, how could you do that to her? Oh, and the last person, and we're done, who I want to include into my uh, best dress category is Dua Lipa in Versace. And I love how she looks, so I'm going to include her there. So uh, she looks great. I really like this outfit. She, I like her hair. I think a lot has to do with like your hair and makeup and how you're. Uh, look goes but she looks incredible and makes me want to buy that dress so it's like campy yes but you would want to buy it right so that's that's smart that's smart okay you guys that was it for me thank you so much I didn't finish my glass of wine but I feel like I talked so much and I talked and talked and talked and you listened and listened and I hope you guys enjoy these kind of views because I'm not gonna stop because I really am having fun and I promise you that next time I'm gonna be reacting to something else rather than outfits and looks and we're gonna have more fun so if you're not subscribed yet please subscribe and please stay tuned so for that you need to click the bell to get notifications to be informed about my videos um, give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!